Welcome to Houston News. Today is November the 3rd, 2017, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market analysis where we give you the news according to the charts. And you guys can see from the website today, the cryptocurrency market capitalization website, that the market cap is still going up. Yesterday is at $196 billion, and now it is at almost $198 billion dollars and i must say that we called it yesterday on our analysis for the majority of all of these cryptocurrencies we forecasted them to move higher and that is exactly what we got today a very positive day update for a lot of these altcoins and bitcoin and it just goes to show you that you can predict with accuracy where cryptocurrencies or any other market exchange you guys can use this language anywhere and trust us that the profitability and your confidence would definitely increase once you fully understand the market language this is one powerful language that everyone needs to understand if they don't then they will be shooting blanks in the market because you would just literally be guessing we at Houston News do not guess in the market because we can understand the language that it is telling us precisely what is going to happen now with that being said I have to give you the disclaimer we are not investment advisors and we are not giving you investment advice but rather we are the interpreters of these price charts that no one is able to do we are the only ones the first ones to analyze cryptocurrencies this way and the only one currently so now you guys can see that bitcoin is up 2.08 percent and you guys i like that graph right here on the right how it just continues to move higher but if you guys can see it's leveling off right now we'll talk about that momentarily then you guys can see ethereum up 6.63 Bitcoin Cash up almost 10%, Ripple up 1%, Litecoin up 3%, Dash up 6%, Neo up 7.5%, Monero up 4%, and look at Ethereum Classic of 22%. We analyzed on our video yesterday that Ethereum Classic was going to be moving higher. And if you guys don't understand what we know, you will eventually because this was a very profitable day you guys can just see how increased in one day the market just shot up for this particular cryptocurrency so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it and let's analyze these cryptocurrencies so now you guys can see that bitcoin is up 0.14 0.10 percent last trade was at seven thousand and two dollars and ten cents and this is the second day that we have seen bitcoin give us more stockpile now our analysis was for them just to come to seventy two hundred seventy two hundred dollars and matter of fact it went all the way up to seven thousand four hundred forty eight but it made another all-time high as well today but as you always know you cannot have too many days where we have stockpile on each of these bars without the market trading sideways to at least lower so that is going to be our analysis for bitcoin is for them to trade sideways to lower and we're looking for them to at least come to sixty eight hundred dollars trade between seventy two hundred back down to sixty eight hundred now if this stockpile that we received over the last two days is still in control then it can go lower than that which could be around even $6,700. So just keep that also in your particular strategy. So now let's go to Ethereum. So now you guys saw that we forecasted Ethereum to be moving higher and they are up 5.99%. Last trade was at $301.87. So we have this push to go up bar, right? Which is a very good sign, especially after we had this consumption bar yesterday. And our analysis is for Ethereum to continue to move higher, maybe to the high that occurred on the 30th of October, which was around $314, if not up to $320. 
because this is a very strong push to go up bar. So we would be expecting Ethereum to at least come back up to around three hundred and twenty dollars. So next we're going to look at Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash is up 9.55%. Last trade was at $619.73. So the volume has been increasing as Bitcoin Cash has been moving higher. But today we have definitely a lot of selling occurring in Bitcoin Cash. The market did make a high of $688.33, but it closed right here at $626, which tells us that the majority of this spread majority of this volume was selling and now we just need to see where is Bitcoin Cash going to take and find support so it looks like it might try to find support around $600 that is going to be the first area for Bitcoin Cash to find support and if they cannot find it there then it will come down to $575 okay so that is going to be our analysis for Bitcoin Cash is for them to trade right here between $600. And if the precursors of weakness is still around $600, then $575 will be our next area that we will be eyeing. Now, Bitcoin Cash can still move a little higher. And in case that does happen, we are looking for them to at least come to six hundred and fifty dollars okay so that's our analysis for bitcoin cash to trade sideways so now we're going to go to ripple see this is just how simple it is once you understand the language of the market how fast you can analyze charts and quickly know if it's an opportunity to get in or to get out of a particular trade so Ripple is down 2.40% right now. Last trade was at 20 cents. We told you on our video yesterday that this is a precursor of strength bar. And we was forecasting Ripple to at least come to 21 or at least to the high from the 24th of October, which was almost 22 cents. And instead, Ripple came all the way up towards 23 cents. You guys can see that stockpile still came in for this particular crypto and now the market came all the way back down to where all of this trading occurred over the last two weeks so now what is going to happen for ethereum because it tells us that there is a lot of volatility occurring for ripple right now we have people who wants to buy it when it's cheap and then we have people who wants to sell it when it get expensive or so-called expensive so now can we expect ripple to trade sideways again due to how wide this spread is how much sellers came into the market to push it all the way back down i will say so so now we're looking for ripple to at least trade between that 21 cents and it still might come back up to the high that occurred on 24th of october if the buyers are still in control because the market did close higher than yesterday's close so the buyers are still in control so you can expect ripple to make higher highs possibly but we're expecting them to at least trade sideways and looking at 20 cents again around this price area for ripple to be trading and if the sellers are in control then expected to come to the low that occurred on the 29th of october which was 19 cents all right so that's our analysis for ripple between 20 cents all the way back up to 22. Next one we're going to check out is going to be Litecoin. So Litecoin is up 2.87%. Last trade was at $55.40. And Litecoin has given us another precursors of strength, how the market moved lower, but was able to definitely close higher. We're still forecasting Litecoin to be moving higher. So that will entail it to be trading between maybe $54, but we're expecting it to come all the way back up to $58 at least. It might come and touch it and then close lower, but our analysis for Litecoin is for them to move higher. So now we're going to Dash.
Dash is up 4.41%. Last trade was at $275.40. So we can see that Dash did move lower on the trading day today, but was able to close higher than the close from yesterday. Precursors of strength, and then it closed right here alongside our support line that we have drawn. So we're expecting Dash to be moving sideways. And if it wanted to move lower, then we're expecting it to maybe come in touch to 70, $270, but we're definitely expecting it to come back up into this descending triangle and maybe come to the highs around $290 around that area, $285, $290. So now we're going to NEO. So NEO is up 8.27%. Last trade was at $26.49. So this is a very good sign for NEO to come right back above $26. A video we said yesterday that it will take a push to go up bar, which we have, in order for NEO to come back up above $26. That is a very good sign. But one of the things that gives us concern is that the volume is not necessarily indicating to us that the market participants are interested in that price. So NEO can possibly still trade sideways on tomorrow, but given the market close above the close from yesterday, which was a probable precursor of strength, we told you that yesterday in our video and then the market confirmed it today we will still expect NEO to be moving higher. So that will be between 26 and our first area will be maybe to the lows that from this particular line here, which was around $26. I know that's not that far away, but if we still have all of these buyers, the market participants are still interested in higher prices, then it can go up to 28 or even higher than that. But our analysis is just for them to trade from around $26 up to around 28 dollars but one of the things that we do have to tell you is that the light volume is giving us a little hesitancy into saying that it would definitely move higher that's the one thing that is hindering us from giving us a hundred percent stating that neo will be moving higher it's the fact that that volume is not convincing enough for us but it's still a possibility because overall, these are two precursors of strength bars. So the next one we're going to see is going to be Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic of 22.59%. $12.43 is the last trade on this altcoin. And if you guys was in the trade on our video yesterday, you guys would have profited from everything that occurred as the market for Ethereum class was moving higher. That's why it's important for you guys to be watching these videos because you will also be able to call these type of moves in the market. We forecasted Ethereum class to move higher and we exactly got that today. What a day it was for us. Now, this is a definite precursors of strength push to go up bar and you guys can see how that stockpile came in on this bar that's why the market moved already down to twelve dollars but then it was able to close back above the close so far from today but given the, the spread of this bar and the volume tells us that ethereum classic will be making higher highs so we will continue with our analysis for them that they will continue to move higher and thirteen dollars is now in our mirror that we are looking for ethereum classic to come and maybe even come to our support line that we've drawn which was around thirteen dollars and eighteen cents so the last one is going to be monero Monero is up 4.94% last trade, 
So this is a definite precursor to strength, but one thing that we are seeing, as you guys always see on my videos, is this stockpile that came in the market. But Monero is still giving us precursors of strength because it confirmed from the consumption that occurred yesterday. So we will be expecting Monero to move higher, but given as long as it's been for them to trade in this range, we will need to see another push to go a bar up to $95 in order for Monero to get away from all of this trading range. So given the fact that stockpile still came in, in on today's bar, gives us a little hindrance into saying that Monero will be moving higher. So we're looking for $84 again for them to trade as well as maybe going back up to $92. But given that we've had precursors of strength the last two days it might go a little higher than that which could come to the highs that occurred on the 25th of october which was 95 dollars so those are the two price areas we're looking 84 dollars to maybe around 95 if the market is still strong if not then it could come back to around 92. so that's it that's our analysis that's how quick you guys can analyze nine cryptocurrencies to let you know if you need to go ahead and play some funds in one of these, which one is the best probability for you to make money. That's what we do at Houston News. We do not spend all day at the computer with indicators on our screens trying to see when to get in and when to get out. This is how you are supposed to be trading. This is a true trader one who can come and look at the price bars and the volume and say yes that market is geared to move higher yes that market is geared to move lower and that's all it took okay this is what you guys need to know this is what you're missing and we have the keys to the treasure chest for you guys to get the same language and understanding so guys keep it tuned here we have a lot of things planned in the future for this particular language to get out into the market to give you all opportunities to learn this phenomenal language appreciate the new subscribers just to get a taste of this language you guys can always check out just some of the basics that we have created a video that we've created to give you guys some understanding on the terminology that we use on this channel you guys got questions or comments Go ahead and leave it in the comment section of these videos. Use the timestamps if you guys are running short of time. It's what it's there for to save you some time also because we know that time is also money. So that's why we do these daily cryptocurrency market analysis so fast because time is very valuable as well. So that's all we got. Appreciate you guys. Stay tuned. Stay profitable. And I'll talk to you guys later.